Assalamualaikum and hello to all. We are going to continue to chapter 3.3 Alkenes. At the end of the lesson, you are going to study about show the preparation of alkene through dehydration of alcohol, state ZF rule, and predict the major product using ZF rule. Alkenes can be prepared by a process called dehydration of alcohol. Okay, it means that you have alcohol and then you dehydrate that alcohol. So you get alkenes. Does, what does this mean is that you are going to eliminate water molecule which is H2O from the alcohol. So as you can see, there is the water that is being eliminated here. Uh, this is the alcohol. This is the alcohol that you are going to dehydrate. You are going to dehydrate this alcohol and it will form alkene. Okay, alkene. This is the alkene and this is the water that has been removed. Dehydrated means removing water. You are going to remove the water. You need two things here. Yeah? Acid and heat. Specifically, the alcohol is ethanol and the alkene is ethane. Where is the water comes from? So, it, it is from the elimination of H and OH from the alcohol. So, the things that you need is acidic catalyst. Catalyst and dehydrating agent can either be concentrated sulfuric acid H2SO4 or phosphoric acid H3PO4. So, this is the acid that is needed for you to form alkene from the process called dehydration of alcohol. Dehydration of alcohol, you need to have your understanding about classes of alcohol. So this is one R, so one alkyl R, you should, you should remember it is as alkyl chain. Eh? So alkyl, one R attached to this carbon, which is connected to hydroxy group here. So this one will be primary, okay, primary alcohol. And this one, two R, two alkyl group. So it means this one will be secondary. And three R means that this is tertiary alcohol. So what happened here? So reactivity increase, easier to undergo dehydration. So it means that tertiary alcohol is the easiest to undergo dehydration. And one rule that you need to know about dehydration of alcohol is ZF rule. Okay, what does ZF rule tells you? In an elimination in an elimination reaction, uh, dehydration of alcohol is elimination reaction. Eh? The major product is the most stable alkene, commonly the most substituted alkene. Okay, what does this mean? What is highly substituted alkene? Okay, what is the highly substituted alkene that makes it most stable? Okay, let's see from here. Okay, so this is the few alkenes. What does it mean by highly substituted? Eh? So from here, you see there are many kinds of alkenes. You can see that this one, all are H. All are H. Whereby this one, it have one methyl. This one is two methyl. This one is three methyl. And the last compound here, there are four methyl. So which one do you think is the highly substituted alkene? Okay, so the one that we consider the highly substituted alkene is this one. Okay, there is a specific name for this compound. Eh? We call that tetra substituted alkene. Okay, which is the most stable. Okay, tetra substituted alkene is the most stable. Uh, this compound. Eh? The whole thing here. Eh? Okay, so this is alkene which is highly substituted which is tetra substituted there are four alkyl group attached to it that's why it is tetra tetra referring to four so stability increase the, this is the product it means that the project the product form the one that is major product is the highly substituted alkene so if you have two product that is being formed so the one that is highly substituted this one uh, that one will be the major product so let's see example Okay, so we have alcohol here. Alcohol, it is going to be dehydrated. This is 
hydroxy group okay so hydroxy group you need to eliminate water so oh and one more is hydrogen so you can remove whether hydrogen at the carbon on the right or you can remove or dehydrate the h2o with hydrogen from the left okay you can either remove like this or you can remove hoh like this to form the water the byproduct that is water you should have water here the byproduct okay so which one is it is going to choose huh? so according to sets rule the major product will be the one that is highly substituted so let's try to draw this one in expanded form okay c okay this one eh? c double bond c okay it have one h one h one h and this carbon one h okay ch3 one ch3 and this one one ch3 so the alkyl group that attached to the carbon with the double bond is one here methyl and one more that attached to the carbon with the double bond is CH3. Hydrogen here, we didn't consider it as the substitute one. Eh? Uh, because when the bonding is not complete four, uh, you need to add hydrogen. So we didn't consider hydrogen to be the substitute one. Eh? Okay, let's look at this one. So C, double bond C, draw like this first. Okay, C, double bond C. There are two H. So each one of this bonding is hydrogen and one H attached directly to hydrogen, carbon hydrogen there and there is ethyl attached to this carbon so CH2 CH3 okay so the substituent that attached directly to the carbon that have the double bond is only one structure here okay, this one is not considered eh? we didn't consider this one we didn't consider hydrogen here. We didn't consider hydrogen here. So according to Sazer, the major product is the highly substituted. This compound at the bottom here have one substituent. The compound at the top here has two substituents. So which one is going to be major? So of course, the one at the top. So this one will be major. Okay, so this product. Let me just remove everything. So this one will be major. If this one is major, at the bottom here it will be minor product um what is major minor product okay major product means that it, it is the one that is favored to be produced maybe this one uh, can yield up to 70 percent so the rest of it is this one lah, 30 percent so that's why we call major and minor uh, major means more favored to be produced huh, compared to the minor okay so specifically this is two butanol specifically this is to butene the product of the dehydration of alcohol with acidic catalyst h2so4 here and this one is one butene and so that one is major product and this one is minor product why the major product is the major product because according to sexf rule the major product is the most stable product which is commonly the highly substituted alkene so that is how you are going to answer in exam eh? Okay, so let's try this example. Okay, when it is drawn like this to you, maybe you cannot see where is the hydroxyl and H that is going to be dehydrated. Okay, so better if you draw in expanded form. So like this. Okay, draw in expanded form. I hope you know how to draw in expanded form. OH, okay. So C ch3 c h2 and oh yeah. so oh here yeah, will it remove the hydrogen from here uh, no it cannot remove the hydrogen from here because this oh is attached to the same carbon okay this h is attached to the same carbon it cannot be at the same carbon so it must be the next carbon maybe the drawing is better if i draw if i draw the h oh at the bottom here uh, like this okay if i draw oh at the bottom here you can see that OH is going to eliminate the hydrogen from here. It can also eliminate the hydro hydrogen from this one or from this one because this is the carbon at the next carbon with the carbon that have hydroxy group. Eh? It cannot be this one 
It cannot be this one. It cannot be this one because this one attached to the same carbon. It must be the next carbon. So if this one is eliminated, we can see that the bonding will form here, right? Okay. So that is the drawing. Okay, that is the drawing. OH. Okay, so let's see. So you can have C H double bond C H H plus the byproduct which is H2O. Okay, so which one is major and minor product? Uh, this one you only have one product because only two carbon. Okay, there is no no more carbon for you to uh, to have. So this one is actually uh, the only product. Lah. Not not major product, but this one is the only product. So this is the product only. So this is the product. And H2O is actually by product. Okay, next one. Okay, the same thing for this one. You should be able to expand this one. So CH, CH, CH3, CH3, OH, Okay, here CH3, another CH3. Okay, so OH here, it can remove, it can be eliminated with hydrogen on the right or hydrogen on the left. But this one, it doesn't matter because you will get identical structure. Whether you remove on the left or on the right, you will get identical structure. Whether you remove H from there or OH H from the left. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So what is the product? So you get this one. I draw in expanded form. Huh? Easier for you to understand. Okay, C. H is still here. But now let's say we remove the hydrogen from here. Eh? Hydrogen from here. So you get C. H still exists. H, this one still exists. But this one now become double bond. And this one. This. So count the bonding at the carbon it should be four one two three four so this carbon one two three four carbon at the center is four carbon on the right one two three four okay so this one is valid for the structure plus the byproduct which is h2o that has been eliminated if you change this one into condensed form okay change this one into condensed form okay so this one will be ch3 right so ch3 this one will be CH but you need to remember there is double bond and this one is CH2 okay so that is the condensed structure from the structure here which is actually two propanol and you get propene this is two propanol and what you get is propene okay so that is how you are going to form the alkene from alcohol, dehydration of alcohol. So always remember, um, set zero. Elimination reaction. Elimination reaction is the dehydration of alcohol. Give alkene with the most highly substituted double bond or highly substituted alkene as the major product. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you try to digest this information. And as always, good luck.